Hi everyone, welcome to the Monday Wrap. It is that time of the week once again. And once again we're out here on the outer oval watching the Aces play, doing it tough at the moment against Otago, but hopefully things turn around for them pretty soon. But let's rip into it, and I'm going to throw over to this man here, Neil Gray, uh, for Performance of the Week. Performance of the Week, yeah, club cricket with uh, one standout batting performance from Ben Ray, and uh, picking up 100 for Parnell. We'll come back to that next. Uh, with the ball, Donovan Grobelar continued his fine form of last week, finishing with figures of 6 for 24. Uh, Michael Stevenson from North Shore uh, helped them to an outright victory with 6 for 33. Uh, but the performances of the week, we've got to give it to uh, two of the guys out there just now. Craig Kachopa got his first uh, first class 100, so well done to Chops. But I think we can't look past uh, Colin Munro, who basically smashed the ball to every single corner of uh, Eden Park and also halfway down Sandringham Road for his uh, unbeaten double hundred. So well done to Manu for his uh, performance of the week. Uh, but like I said, Parnell, a team performance of the week, Ian. Yeah, it was pretty amazing stuff, actually. We're calling this the Lazarus Award because they were down and out. Howard Pakaranga put 331 on the board. They had them six down. They were 48 for seven when they decided, Parnell, to just cut their losses, get out of there, see if they could set something up uh, for an outright. Um, Howard Pakaranga played the game and declared it 18 for one, and then the chase was on. They needed over 300, and they did it. It was fantastic. Ben Rose, as Neil's already said, Got the 100, 114, but there were contributions from, from Kirk Bunting, uh, from Lockie Ferguson, who finished it off at the end with, I think, 34 off, off only 27. Um, a fantastic effort from Parnell. Puts them right in the hunt at the top of that leaderboard as well. So a few outrights at the weekend, but that one was probably took the cake in terms of uh, drama for the weekend. But in terms of performances, we had a bunch uh, out there that were pretty fantastic, and the, the women are still on fire, aren't they, Neil? Yeah, so... Well, gloss over the 2020 is just not clicking for the girls. Unfortunately, a really tight one-run loss on Friday, but the uh, experienced players, the White Ferns that we have on our side, stepped up big time on Saturday and Sunday. Captain Victoria Lynn got two uh, half centuries. Maddie Green got a couple of scores. Katie Perkins continued her good form, and the girls are now four from four in the one-day competition, well on their way to defending it. So well done to them, and get down to Melville this weekend and see them play the Northern Spirit. And then on even more good news, the World Cup squad for the White Ferns was announced this morning. We have seven people. So all the girls that I just named, Vic, Holly, uh, Vic, Katie, um, Madeline, well done. And then the new faces, we've got Holly, Georgia, Lauren and Sam Curtis. So good luck, girls, and hopefully you make the, the final cut. Uh, I guess, Ian, we've got to finish on what was potentially a world-class performance last week from... Craig and oh yeah, there were records galore with this partnership and it was fantastic stuff to watch. There were boundaries all over the place, stuff was going on all the time. But just a few of the records we have, and I'm going to need my piece of paper here, Neil, because there's an awful lot to talk about and to cover. But uh, it was the fourth highest six-wicket partnership in first-class cricket history. Not just New Zealand, not anywhere in the entirety of first-class cricket. Incredible stuff. Uh, in fact, there are only a couple of runs off being the, the third highest. Um, it was the second highest... 269 not out, second highest individual score for Auckland uh, behind uh, Mr Carson and uh, it was the second highest partnership for any wicket for Auckland as well, again behind Mr Carson and Mr Whitelaw way back in 1936-37 and it's the second highest six wicket partnership in New Zealand cricket history. Interestingly, only two runs behind uh, Van Bake and Shannon Stewart's uh, 379 just only a couple of years ago in Plunkett Shield. Uh, so a fantastic effort from the guys and, uh, as I say, a bunch of records. And congrats to both Chops and uh, Marnie for what was an outstanding effort. That is the Monday wrap for another week. Thank you very much for watching. We will catch up with you next Monday. Ciao.